hello guys in this lesson we are gonna need to create a equation of motion related to the wheel models okay and so in order to do that we should write it down as the R wheel like this one okay and so we have the such kind of forces on torques in here torque is an input variable in here and so the f f is the <coughs> opposite direction of the this force value and so we have the such kind of position variable in here like the x with the direction of the translational motion and so we have also a theta value with the radius of r okay and so how can we create a specific equation of motion or how can we create a system dynamics model in here in the first place you should write as the for rotational motion in here and so we need to write additionally a translational motion <coughs> these two parts are the distinct region of this mechanical dynamics and so in any mechanical system or models we should create the rotational motion and translational motion there may be a only translational motion in the systems or the there may be a such as the rotational motion in one kind of system such as the mass spring damping system is included only the translational motion characteristics not the rotational motion or the earth rotates in itself okay and so the rotational motion can be written in the earth motion but translational motion cannot be written for the earth proposition okay and so <coughs> In order to create a or in order to write a specific dynamics and so the rotational motion has or should have the one acceleration parameter because the Newton said that or proved that the every object in universe has a kind of such acceleration because the dynamics comes from us okay and so in the rotational motion we should define the j value times theta dot dot and j is the inertia and so in definition the resistance of the against the motion okay and so the j can be defined as the resistance of an object against to the motion okay and so if we apply the any torque value on this wheel and so the inertia is directly affects on how much acceleration occur in this system okay and so if we have such kind of torque value and so we have the theta value or theta dot value or theta dot dot value at this direction <coughs> in the direction of the rotation of the z axis okay and so if we have this kind of system and so we need to equalize to what if we have such kind of torque value in the direction of these things okay and so the torque and theta is on the same direction and so we can write it down as the torque as a positive but what happens if the torque is defined by this and so if the torque is the opposite direction of the theta value and so we need to put the minus on this equation okay but in this case we have the same direction in here and so we can write it down as the torque value like this one okay and so <coughs> 
What about the other torque variable? The FF is a friction force, but the friction force creates a what? A torque value, a reaction torque in here, because the radius comes from with the specific torque value due to the force friction. Okay? And so the force friction creates this kind of torque value torque f okay and so the direction of these things and theta is the opposite and then we need to write it down as torque minus f f f is a force but with a radius parameter and so this creates a specific torque a friction torque in here okay and so what happens if the FF is under this direction? FF. And so, if the FF is on the center of gravity, and so, there is no torque, because there is no radius on this term. And so, the any force can create or produce a torque value on this wheel. But, in the main condition is that the center of gravity is not on this the force direction okay and so this is the rotational motion of our models and so what about the translational motion translational motion comes from the x position direction okay and so if we have this kind of mm, wheel and so if we have the inertia parameter in here and then we have also a mass parameter and so in the translational motion we need to utilize these things with the times of x dot dot which is proved by the Newton in the 3d dimension universe okay and so <coughs> this must be equal to what so x direction is the right and so f is in the right direction and then we can write it down as the ff must be equal to m times x dot dot okay and so if we don't have the friction factor in here and so we cannot solve this equation because torque value is input parameter the others is the output but if we have such kind of system in the translational motion dynamics and so we can combine these equations in the one form combined equation form is that what the j dot dot j times theta dot must be equal to torque is an input value and so ff comes from the translational motion and so m times x dot dot should be written in here or maybe written in here and then we need to times it with the radius parameter of this wheel okay this is our complete dynamics but what about this the theta and x are both the output variable but we cannot reduce or we cannot convert we can convert the theta value to x or x can be written in the form of theta value from the geometry okay and so what about this the x is equal to what r times theta because if the theta is increasing in here and x is also increasing but in what condition the condition is that the wheel is rigid okay and so we can drive a form of these things in here the x dot is the derivative of the x and theta dot is the derivative of theta and so r is 
independent of the time and so r is the same with the previous equation and so the x dot must be equal to r times theta dot dot okay and so we can write to theta with the parameter of the x okay and so in this equation theta dot dot must be equal to what x dot dot divided by r and so in the final position the r equation is in the form of these things j times what x dot dot divided by r because the theta dot must be equal to these things and so torque minus m x dot dot times r okay and so in the final form we have this term is splitting into the, the at the left hand side and so putting the this equation in the left hand side and so in the final position we have the x dot dot in parentheses and so what m times r plus j divided bar r must be equal to torque value okay this is our dynamic equation of this system okay and so in the next lesson we will create a transfer function and system dynamics modeling in the especially in the state space presentation form will be given us okay and so in the next lesson we will try to cover up the transfer function and state space presentation of this kind of models okay